found. You know the Dina Wakely tape that I used in my last uh, video? Well, I was looking online and ordering something else, uh, some film, I mean some uh, printer ink, and I saw this. And it's like in the medical section, and it's um, from Walmart, and it's Equate Paper Tape. Four rolls for five forty-eight, dollars And um, it's kind of like, if y'all, anybody that sews, if you know what uh, Wonder Under is, it's like um, interfacing to for sewing. Um, it feels kind of like that, but it's... Real lightweight. It's a lot uh, lighter weight than the canvas tape, and I used it in the middle of this journal. But it'd also be great just for decorating with. But it's so cheap, and it works so good. I'm just, I was just really pumped about finding this. So this is it in uh, my little junk journal, and then it you paint it paints over well, and you can do anything over it. So. I really, really like that. That was a really good uh, bargain, I thought. Here's one more thing. You know these uh, SOS pads? Well, here's a quick way to rest. I get impatient when I have to lay all the stuff out and lay the material or paper out and then lay it out in the sun or let it dry and keep spritzing it with uh, vinegar. And so, if you have a rusty SOS pad, which I always seem to, then you just spray it with vinegar. And then you can just instant rust. You can pat it, you can wipe it, and I love that instant, instant gratification. I thought I was um, taping, and I wasn't. So this is my next two pages after last week's, and I only went to the 29th. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the uh, 30, 31st, 1st, and 2nd. Um, so I had this pink and green paper down here, so I'm going to show you on this one. Um, I used my um, a little bit of gesso and used my roller because I didn't like all that pink and green. And I just rolled on some gesso over the paint that was already there. And then I took some um, white paint, and the white paint I've been using uh, for things that I just want a little bit of transparency is the um, Tulip fabric paint. You can get it at Michael's, and this is Glacier White, and it's what I've been using on my flowers where I want the back to show through a little bit. So I put it down. And I used a brush for this. And I just, it had a little water on it, maybe a little too much. And I just went over that gesso because even though my gesso is Bob Ross and it's smooth, it still, oh, my pen drags a little bit over it. So I went over on over it with this. And then I added some um, cobalt teal, and it had some, um, it had a little bit of ultramarine uh, light golden paint in it. And then I just went over the corners and blended it in with the white. My brush was uh, dry when I started, so it blended a little bit differently, but you can do it either way you like. So that's how I came up. Let 
with this. And then um, I did a three staple collage for my 100 day challenge one year and I still do those and sometimes I use three, four, five pieces but um, three is a good if you want to keep it thin. And this uh, is from this paper here is from Amity Bloom and she's got a great YouTube and she's got an Etsy shop and she's got some really pretty florals and things like they look kind of like old wallpaper and stuff so I took this is an envelope I got something in so I took that and one of my rusty papers like I was just showing you and some of that paper and tore them and I just made little groupings here to put my um to stamp my numbers, uh, my day numbers on. Teal to bring these things together. Go over my lines there. I found this um, paper that I had done a long time ago and I thought it'd make a nice little header to write March on so what, how you do this is you just uh, make you some jaggedy circles with uh, graphite pencil whatever Then you make jaggedy circles in the middle. And then you use, I used watercolors. You could use the watered down acrylics or colored pencils or anything you like. And I didn't, I didn't put very much on my brush. I made it kind of light. And then I just went in the in kind of around the jaggedy areas and the colors I had used were a lot like what I already had on the page so I thought it would be work good for a header and it doesn't matter if you go over the lines just have fun with it if you're wanting to do this I used to do a, a separate page for a each month but I kind of quit doing that I kind of liked when we did that so I did that when the old uh, documented life was on. So then I used the blues, the teal, tealy color for the centers.
and this is on top of some of that rusty paper so it's gonna look different than the paper that's just plain I didn't do this on the uh, that, but the paper was lighter without the rust. So just go in and do your little flowery areas to bring them out a little bit. You do it on rusty paper. And that's how I did that. I added the word April with a burgundy Molotow mar marker and um, a piece of Happy Mail from Soul Positive. And this is an old picture of a postcard. And I wanted to put a note. I want to put notes and pictures on the back of some things and it also uh, hides any writing that I want to do on that side so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just add some uh, stems and leaves and things around the edges maybe some stickers and I'll I'll show you the end result of that <laughs> 